So it's cold and dry tonight, but there's impact weather ahead of us and it starts Friday afternoon and evening with a few isolated storms, but then more widespread thunderstorms will come in after 10 PM on Friday. So that's step number one. Step number two here is Saturday morning. Those storms from Friday night, well, they'll be coming to an end early Saturday. But some of the most active storms of all likely happen after midnight through the early part of Saturday. Sunday's a dry day, and then we have more impact weather coming up on Monday. Scattered severe thunderstorms. I think the greatest threat Monday may end up coming from some high wind and hail, maybe some large hail, given how unstable the atmosphere will be around here. And all of that, a hallmark of the time of year that we are moving into the next four or five weeks right about the peak of severe weather season for central Alabama. No rain tomorrow and Thursday. We do bring it back Friday afternoon, but it's a medium impact because not everybody gets rain on Friday. Friday night into Saturday, most of us will get some rain and then it's out of here by Saturday afternoon and we'll have a mostly dry weekend. So if you have weekend plans that involve anything after 8 or 9 a.m. Saturday, I think you're in good shape there. WVTM 13 live Doppler not showing any rain or storms around here, but there is rain out to our west, part of the subtropical jet stream. This is not the branch of the jet that often brings really stormy weather. That's the northern branch, and it has a big dip in it here over the Pacific that's slamming California with more bad weather. This is going to link up with that southern branch of the jet stream and bring the stormy weather in here for Friday night and Saturday. And then we just continue with more and more disturbances through Monday and then much of next week will feature some daily chances of storms. Temperatures dropping through the 50s down into the upper 30s by tomorrow morning, upper 60s tomorrow afternoon at best. And look at this, a frost advisory now up for the Tennessee Valley region as well as Marshall County and DeKalb County lows up here. Maybe even as far south as parts of Coleman County and Blunt County could be around 34 or below, but most of central Alabama, I think we're above 35 degrees early tomorrow morning with a light northeast wind. Chelsea, 38, Northport around 38, 36 at Lineville, 37 at Southside, low 30s around Jasper. In the 60s tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, still looking mild and dry. So we've got the impact weather coming in on Friday as well as early Saturday. Sunday is nice. Monday, we get another round of potentially heavy thunderstorms. And when we look at the amount of instability we're going to have, some of those could be very intense and a few could even linger into Tuesday.